Hi guys, welcome back to a new reading vlog here on my channel, The World of Reading. Uh, my name is Celeste. Um, so, I did quite a bit of reading today, like a lot of reading. I started, and like I started last night, The Extinction of Trials Exile, and I finished it this morning, so it's, I finished it within 12 hours. Um, that was such a good book okay that was oh my god i love this series it's so good i can't get over it okay five stars i love it it just moved first one which i love it a little bit new it's not the most original series out there but i do actually love it and fly through it i'm probably not jumping immediately in the third one i'm like doubting about a few books or the uh, third book Hollow Pox Hollow Pox uh, The Blood of Elves by Andrzej Zabskowski the fifth book in the Throne of Glass series or um, Daughter of the Pirate King like these are the books that I am thinking about picking up physically um that was like everything and i also i listened to a lot of my audiobook of a chord of miss of fury by sarah jamas yeah i'll finish it live two hours almost a little over two hours left so we'll definitely finish it t t tomorrow so um I'm excited to finish up that up. I love it. Oh, it's amazing. And I can't wait to read more. I am burning my candle. The first one, which is going away and reading. I also, I edited my CCs on my vlog, which is going up tomorrow. Which is good because I'm getting back into that. Because I haven't done it in a few weeks. Because I have been really buzzy. And I really need to get my eyes checked out. I probably won't be until December though but um yeah I need to get my eyes checked out which is stupid because I really get really dizzy when I'm looking at my computer screen like that I like reading it like the small lot of rings which get get it bigger that's frustrating but okay that's all um but yeah, that was all I said to you on today because I haven't done a lot. I have to work tomorrow and I have to work Wednesday. And Friday my grandparents are coming over. Like socially distancing, you know, it's allowed here. Um, but yeah, that was everything. I like I'm thinking of things to say right now. I cleaned up my room, which is good because it needs to be cleaned up. But it was everything I had to tell you guys. So I'm gonna go say bye and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hey guys, it's Tuesday. Tuesday it's today. I'm 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 really losing the days in this pandemic and not going to school, you know, it's really weird because I don't work the normal work days so my mind has just gone away um i did a lot of reading quite a bit of reading yeah so i oh let's look i'm almost done with a cold of wings and ruin by sarah jamas i have half an hour left so i'll definitely finish it today um i don't know what i'm going to read next because I may just want to jump immediately in Court of Wings and Rue. No, that's the one I'm reading right now. The Court of Miss and Fury, it's the one because the cliffhanger and I know what happens, but still the cliffhanger at the second book, it's just uh, I need to know what happens. But I also for a uh, horror -a ton, I want to at least read one book, even though horror isn't my genre. I just want to support Lauren from I never know how to pronounce her channel name. She's such a Lauren. Um, and that's the Vampire's Guide to... The Guide to Slaying Vampires. 
by Grady Hendrix, that book. I, I'm for, I always forget like the, how the title is combined, but okay. We'll see what I'm going to pick up. I have, like, I have to go to work, I have my work shirt on. Um, so we'll see what I'm going to pick up next. One of these two, definitely. Then I also started yesterday evening, Hollow Pox, the book in the Nevermore series uh, by Jessica Townsend. I think this is the last book in the series. At least I hope so. I think the trilogy should be. It's nicely wrapped up, but I do think there could be more books in the series. I am 161 pages in, and it's 471 pages. It's a big book because, like, pages are full like it's it's bigger than a normal paperback uh so it's it's a big book i'm liking it so far i'm really really enjoying my time with this one i love the friendship the family dynamics in the series that's just amazing um so yes i'm excited to continue i hope it finishes at least before saturday of at least on saturday because it's the last day of the month tomorrow i won't be able to read much i have a driver's lesson at nine so that's probably be a quarter past 10 half 11 before i'm home and then i have to work again at two till eight so i won't have much time to read like at all uh, but i'm hoping like to at least get to page maybe 200 tomorrow and then i have 270 pages left right yeah 270 pages left oh thursday to saturday uh friday my grandparents are coming so like it's really a finger crossed if i can finish this before saturday but we'll see i'm really really enjoying my time with this i love the cover of this and i really really hope to read a lot more um yeah, but that was everything I'd tell you. It was like a little quick update uh, before I have to go to work. So we'll see you guys probably, t hopefully tomorrow, maybe Thursday. So until the next time. Hey guys, it's Wednesday again. Like I almost have to go to work. I haven't changed this time. Did I change yesterday? I think I did. I don't know. I have like this big sweater on. Hype. Oh, hyped. It's it's it it's an old sweater, okay guys. Um so what did I read since yesterday? Audiobook listening. I finished a code of Miss and Fury. I think that's the second one. Five stars, I loved it, amazing. <sighs> Love my life. Then I started going of wings at Ruin, the third one. I think I'm about four hours into that and I, um, I'm i putting it down because yesterday at work I was listening to it but I was worrying like I really want to read a, a Southern's Guide to Slaying Vampires this week like before Saturday and it's A Court of Wings and Ruins, a long audiobook and I was just thinking and not enjoying it as much so I put it down. I'm going to pick it up after I finished A Vampire's Guide to Slaying Vampires. A sudden as guys slaying vampires. Uh, so I picked it up yesterday. I'm like two and a half hours into that. I've like what is it, four hours left, a little bit less. And it's so good. Like and creepy. There's this one scene. I just had that scene and it's so creepy, like, oh my god. Almost want to puke. It's just gross, but okay. And like, it's a horror. But with me, I'm not really scared. What's gonna happen? I want to know. I'm curious to know what happened. But I'm not scared or freaked out. So we'll see what my ending writing is gonna be. Um, I'm probably finishing that today. Hopefully, otherwise, probably tomorrow. And then after that, I'm picking up a Code of Wings of Ruin again. Because I do want to read it or listen to it. I also read, I think, around 100 pages or 90. I didn't know. I, 
I think 90, 90 to 100 pages of follow box. I left the book downstairs. Um, I'm up to page 261. So I have around 210 pages left, which is good progress. I'm really, really enjoying my time with that one. Like, I really, really like that book. I haven't picked up an ebook. I'm like in the ebook slump. I don't want to pick up ebooks. I'm not enjoying my ebooks I'm reading, so I'm just gonna like wait a bit and maybe pick up another one next month. Um, but what I've been noticing is that I need to focus on one book. I can't like ebooks. I I don't enjoy them as much if I read them like I used to, like bits and bits between when I can't pick up physical one. So we'll see what I'm going to do with that. Maybe just try again. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, there was a small update again. Um, but I will see you guys, I think, tomorrow after I've done a bit more reading. Bye. Hey guys, it's Thursday. <laughs> That's what the day is. Okay. It's Thursday. And as you can see, I've got fairy lights on my shelves. You can't see them, like... I know like most people have warm lights but they didn't have or like the yellow lights you know mine are all white but i still i love them i love i love them i just like it's been like kind of a dream to have like fairy lights on my shelves but i was also hesitant to do it because i don't spend a lot of time in this room and i would be buying them and not having them on but I have a channel now I and still don't know which light I need to put on because I'm always just going on um but yeah I'm glad I have them they look really nice you can't see it really because of the fairy light I have over there the highlight I have on but um yeah I'm glad I did so I did quite a bit of reading since I last updated you yesterday. I finished the Vampire's Guide to Slaying. No, the Southerner's Guide to Vamp. The Southerner's Guide to Slaying Vampires by Grady Hendrix. That's the name. Um, I'm giving it three point five stars. I really, really, really enjoyed my time with this one, but I wasn't scared. Like I wasn't scared at all. I just didn't. didn't care that much you know like i wanted to know what happened but also wasn't freaking out i wasn't scared i was just and that's with me with horrors very fast i'm just i'm not that scared let's try this wait a second i'm never that scared you know um why is this life very white or it's just i don't know what's happening we'll see um okay i'm just gonna put it on again because my face my face goes very white is it because of fairy lights yeah okay moving on like let's try putting this out does this help no because my face goes white again hmm that's sad. Maybe I'm going to have to put this out, which is very sad. But we'll see. Okay, so I finished, the, yeah, The Southern's Guide to Slaying Vampires. I liked it, um, but I was a scared, like I said. And I know it fits in the time frame, the way women, women are treated, but every time I see that in that book, I get so fucking uncomfortable. It's something that I just, I want to scream at. Like, I'm really getting mad at because I don't enjoy reading that. Like, at all. I don't want to read it because why the hell? And that's a lot of historical fictions from the last century, you know? Get a lot of that. And I just, I can't. I really, really can't read that. I just make me want to puke. So that's why I also like, I get it fits a time frame, but I don't like it. Okay, I don't like it. Um, wait, I'm gonna try one more thing. I'll be right back. Okay, 
Okay, so they're a little bit softer. Why does my face get wet? Is it just me? Just let me know if that's just me seeing my face in the the screen, like in my phone. But it seems like my face just whitewashes, which is frustrating. But okay, so that was my thoughts on that book. Then I also finished Hollow Pox, The Hunt for Morgan Crow by Jessica Townsend. I finished this. I thought it was a trilogy. It isn't. And I need... Uh, this series is so good. I'm giving it four stars. The ending was a little bit lackluster from my feelings. But I still, like, I really, really love this series. I think I give the whole series four stars. It's one of my favorite middle grade series that's out there. And uh, I really, really enjoyed my time with this. I can't wait for the next one, which is going to take another year, I think. Um, then I also read Death Note. I can't think of the other. It's in a uh, manga. And I loved it. I loved it very, very much. I, um, what do you, it was really good. I, I don't, the truth be told, I don't know my rating for that book. I really, really don't know my rating. I just, I don't know. I really, really don't know my rating for that book. I can't, I just, I just don't know my thoughts. I really, really enjoyed my time with it. And I kind of do want to continue with the rest of the series. But it's, I don't know. I'm just really confused on that book. I think I'm just gonna give it the 3.5 stars. It's definitely not 5 stars. Um, and I don't think I 4 stars. But it's a series I do think I want to continue. It was really, really good. I just am confused. I really am confused. But I, I enjoyed my time with that. It's like, it's about this boy who finds a dead note, like book, no book with a dead note on it. And in the inside there are instructions on how if you write a name in a book in a certain time and whatever, they die. And he starts doing that. And it's pretty creepy. And I enjoyed my time with it. I really, really did. Um, so yeah. That, that really really confused Solomon with this one. You can see that? Okay, what am I going to read next? Because ooh, 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 ooh. I'm also over halfway through um Gold of Missing Gold of Wait a second. I'm just gonna have a look. Because yeah, my I'm filming on my phone. A Gold of Wings are ruin like I've around six hours left of that. I it's so good. It's one of my like I, I really can't wait like until the next trilogy comes out and the next book in the series. I really really want that right now. Like right now. Um, so physically, what I'm going to read next, I don't know. I'm probably just picking up Extinction Trials Rebels. So get that series finished off. Um and like or maybe pick up Empire of Storms after that. Like, I maybe just read a lot of, maybe if I'm like in the mood for it, just finish the extra drives about tomorrow. Because uh, after a few minutes, yeah, my mom isn't feeling that great. It's not like she doesn't have any symptoms of COVID, but she's feeling a bit flu, like a little, like feeling very, very weak and not hungry and just like that. But she, her throat doesn't hurt, she doesn't, she isn't coughing, she, her nose and stuff, or she doesn't have any headaches and things like that. So COVID symptoms she doesn't have. But, um, yeah, because my grandparents, they were my grandparents, I seven, was 76. And my, I was like, yeah, mom, we decided together that like, it wasn't the best decision to let him come. Uh, because yeah, we want them to be safe, you know, as safe as possible. And we rather is not see them that and they live in another few years than us infecting them with COVID. So that's gonna be my grandma doesn't like that. She's really attached and I miss her, but she's very uh you know, everyone is isolated here. 
but so does the decision they're not coming we just uh, better cry it's it's hopeful that we get to see them around christmas we hope but that's all okay another time in the update it's going good i will see you guys hopefully tomorrow we'll see we'll see you guys tomorrow hey guys it's saturday that's today saturday sorry for the lighting it always happens when i'm like here in this position but i didn't update you yesterday i got called up yesterday morning and i had to go to work because a colleague of mine was sick um nothing special actually because that colleague of mine is sick like always uh, and, you, know, you know, we would hear it if she had COVID, you know, because we, sh we need to test ourselves. So I'm not worrying right now. But I did a lot of reading uh, since Wednesday, Thursday, since I last updated you. I finished A Court of Wings as a Ruin. I think that's the third one. I always get them confused. I think it's A Court of Wings as a Ruin by Sarah Jamas. And my stories. I loved it. It's amazing. I. It's so good. Um, then, as audiobook, I saw it's a royal assassin by Robin Hobb. It's the second book in like the first trilogy in the Elderling Along, Elderling series. Um, I don't think like this this trilogy, the first one is gonna do me a lot, but I do really, really want to continue with the rest of the Elderling verse, what it is. So I decided to just continue. I um two hours in, and it's like a fourteen hour audiobook, so like twelve hours left. Uh, it's a long time to go. I'll probably listen to a bit today because I have to work from twelve to five. So that's going to be a lot of audiobook listening, I think, because I'm probably going to be in a store, hopefully, like, hopefully. Um, but we'll see, we'll see what's going to happen. I also started and finished The Extinction Trials Rebels by S.M. Wilson. Five, no, four stars. I'm giving this one four stars. It's my least favorite of series, uh, the ones I give but five stars. This one felt a little bit lackluster the ending felt a little bit lackluster uh, i did enjoy it but i love this series but i have to admit that every book is a little bit of the same thing like it's actually just the same thing and the thing is with this series i fly through it so you don't notice it that, that much but I can't go around it and this one very noticeable because if you at the first one the second one are a little bit of the same vibes it's still okay and then you third one it's the same vibes again and I've read them in such a close proximity proximity brooks in the same month <laughs> um that I really noticed like it's not as fun when you have around the same story three times you know so that's why I'm Ducking it one a star because it just felt the same thing and the ending wasn't that that good. It could have been a lot better. And um I think Thursday night <laughs> before I went to bed, I was like watching these clips from The Witcher, the series, you know, and you have this other mini series on Netflix where the writer of the show explains what each episode is about so i was watching that and i was really feeling in the mood the witcher so i picked up blood of elves um i read like 20 pages on thursday didn't read anything of this yesterday because i focused on the extinction trials rebels and i read a little bit more today i am 96 pages in yeah 90, 95 pages in and it's three or ten pages. It's this this takes me a long time to read. The writing is small. The um, there is like a lot of space on the pages, so it takes me quite a bit to read just one page. But that's okay because I really enjoy the series. It's like a true to be a high, high, high fantasy. Um, I don't think 
this is gonna be one of my favorite series of all time um but i really do enjoy the characters and I, this one i haven't really seen a lot of a few characters i absolutely love like yennefer or we have seen Geralt and Ciri, but not a lot, and not in their perspective, where we get a little bit of the perspective of someone I don't actually enjoy. Um, but yeah, I will continue with this more. And I have a second one yet, like, I read the first two short stories, um, like, there in here, like the last wish was introducing the Witcher, uh, and as what of destiny is the tales of the Witcher, and then like I don't know how long the series. The series is pretty pretty long, I think. Yeah, wait, ooh, I can't read that. The Time of Contempt is the book I have. Then you have Baptism of Fire. Okay, I can't read this, guys. I really need glasses. <laughs> Oh, but I probably won't be going for a while. It's the same thing. I want to cut my hair short. I think. I think I want to like. What if the pictures were like this is really really short and on hat is like a little bit longer. But I'm also terrified. I'm also I'm not gonna make a decision yet because I'm not going to the hairdresser for a few months at least. So like, why am I worrying about that now? <laughs> But okay. Um, yeah, that's everything I submit you on. I hope maybe finish this this week. No, I won't be finishing this tomorrow. This will finish next week. Um, but that was everything. I will see you guys probably tomorrow to film my wrap up tomorrow. I really want to film my wrap up tomorrow. Uh, because today is thirty first and of October, and I won't be finishing any books today. That's for sure. But okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hey guys, um, so it's Sunday, Sunday morning. I'm gonna close off this vlog right now because I want to. Um, I wanna show you something. I think I'm gonna do that first. Let's let's just do it firstly. Okay, you're gonna be in a dark room for a minute. Ooh. I'm gonna go to my other room with the light on. Ooh, that's a lot of different light. So I got new shelving. Wait, I'm gonna like turn you around. For so as you can see, I got new shelving. I'm not gonna show you the bottom layer because there are books on there that I'm not supporting the order of. But I don't want to get rid of them yet. So uh, I just leave them down there where no one can see them. So new shelving. Okay, wait. Oh. Can I show you? It's not empty, hopefully. Oh, it is empty. I'm going to have to pull in a lawyer. Normally this goes on. This is a book line. This is my... Um, from when I graduated high school this year. It looks like the only positive point of this year. And then these books and these ones are my entire TBR. So in total, I have 19 books on my TBR. I'm gonna have to fill those two shelves up a bit. But I'm gonna put my TBR on here for the time being. So that like it's just separated. I like it being separated. So oh, that's what I did and I really really like that shelving. I really really joined the brown against the purple and I also I'm getting uh, for Christmas a map before for on that wall because the poster I had there doesn't stick on it anymore so I'm getting a map full which I'm really really excited for. Yes so ooh, I'm gonna go back to there. So what I was reading um, before, uh, ooh. so what I was reading, I like this more, yeah, it's a lot better right now, so, um, what was the audiobook I was listening to, I can't remember, but Robin Hobb, 
royal assassin. I was going to say assassin's apprentice, but that wasn't the only book I was listening to. Assassin's apprentice. So I really, really am enjoying that. I think it's going to be three stars again. So assassin's apprentice, because some stupid things happen. Main character is pretty stupid in some of his actions, which I'm really frustrated about. But I do kind of like the series, you know? And I, I really want to get to the Ship of Magic trilogy. I can't wait to just read that because it sounds super interesting. <gasps> Oops, sorry. <laughs> so yeah. I'm also up to 128 pages of Blood of Elves by Andrzej Zubskowski, Um Which I'm really, really enjoying. You're a little bit too high. Um, I don't know. I it's not gonna be one of my favorite series, definitely because the writing style is pretty dense and <laughs> the lettering is tiny as hell. But I really, really do enjoy the characters. I love Gerald. Love him. And I can't wait to continue with the series. I think there are another four books in the series, which I haven't read. I have one of them on my shelf or in the other shelf. <laughs> and then a prequel. But I'm just going to read them slowly. Um, but that was everything I had to update you on. So what have I read to this week? I've read a lot. I've read uh, The Extinction Trials Exile by S.M. Wilson this week is five stars. The Court of Mr. Fury by Sarah J. Maas, which is five stars. The Southerners Guide Book The Southerners Book Club Guide to Do Slaying Vampires by Grady Hendrix, which is 3.5 stars. I've read Holopox, The Hunt of Mooring and Crow by Jessica Townsend, which is four stars. God of Things to Ruin by Sarah J. Maas, which is five stars. Dead Note Volume 1 by Tsukumi Oba, which is 3.5 stars, and Rebel. The Extinction Trials Rebel by S.M. Wilson, which is four stars, and then like half an audiobook of The Royal Assassin and a quarter of Bluff Elves, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven books again. Pretty, pretty, pretty good reading anyway, week, guys. Um, yeah. Okay, that was everything. Leave me a. There aren't any dinosaurs. No, okay. Leave me a leave because on Exit Trails there are always leaves and covers. So leave me a leave down below if you got it just for. And um, if you're down in the comments anyway, please give that thumbs up. And if you aren't subscribed yet, but when you please subscribe. That will mean a lot to me. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.